Hey guys, Engineer Prepper here. So, my last video I showed you guys my uh, my solar panel. It's a 100 watt um, Windy Nation. I got it cheap, so um, 100 and I think 117 bucks on Amazon. And it came with a uh, 20 amp charge controller, which is pretty good, and a couple wires. So, what I'm going to do, I found my, an old satellite dish that I had a while back, and I think I'm going to. I haven't figured it out yet, so I'm going to take it off, I'm going to take the dish off and try to use the azimuth, um, the, the inclination portion of the satellite dish. I know I've seen people, some people do these, um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I don't want to uh, pay for a, a, a pull mount just yet. You know, we're engineers, so we have to engineer things, put things together with stuff we have laying around. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm, I'm going to take it off and, and uh, maybe if I figure it out with this thing, uh, I'll, I'll do another part video. But if not, um, here it is. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next part. Bye. Hey guys, Engineer Prepper here. So today, I, today's Sunday and I thought you know, I wasn't doing anything. Um, so I show what I did with the installation of my solar panel so far it's only cost me 12 bucks and and uh no 20 put 20 dollars in parts uh at lowe's is what i did here i know it's kind of backward <laughs> you know it's uh uh engineering at its best i guess <laughs> so what i used is some wood that i had and i made a frame to mount the the um the the satellite dish mount on a pole. This pole was twelve, thirteen dollars at Lowe's, and this weatherproof box actually I salvaged it from work. They threw it away, and uh, I uh, it had a a, a uh, motor control in there, so I took it out, and I'm going to use it so it's water resistant, well, weatherproof. It is open from the bottom, and um, so far, it's mounted. The best I could, I'm supposed to get a, a more of an angle for uh, from where I'm at, but the the best I could get was 65, maybe 70 degrees. Um, I'm supposed to be at. That's actually reverse, but I'm, I'm I have to be at 17 degrees today for what it is today. But it's okay. I mean, this is just, a, you know, prototype, or just, uh, I'm just putting it together. This is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a a fountain in the middle of the pond, and this is what's going to power it. So, anyway, what I did is I put a U-bolt in the back, drill the drill the hole there, and put it around it. And here's my, it's a small inverter. I'm just using it for proof of concept, and what I did is I mounted the inverter. It's a 140 watt, and, and I'm using the original plate that came with the box to mount it. Uh oh, battery's running low. Anyway, and this is going to mount as it is in here with the money holes right there because this controller, charge controller, isn't weatherproof. so. And that's how it close. And then I'll have a battery right here. And then out to the pond. See, it's just right at the very edge. So that's that's what I have for now. And um, I'm going to see if I can get... The charge control is cool because, you know, if the battery goes low, it'll shut it off. And until it's charged again, it'll switch it back on. So that's pretty cool. But that's what I'm going that's what I'm done I'm doing now. I mean it's it's just a simple just putting the wires in. You know, your panels panel wires here, your battery your battery cables here, and then my inverter cable here, and then my inverter uh power right there. So anyway, that's it. Let me know. Oh, and I'm I'm going to ground it. So I got a place to ground it here to the thing and and um, I'm just going to ground it so it'll be properly grounded 
That is all, guys. Thanks for watching.